So we're here in Adrian, Texas. We came out here with Mayor Ross and, and Jim Briggs, General Manager for Utility, and Chris Foster from the Utility. And we came out to take a look at Spinning Spur 3, part of our plan to go 100% renewable. We have 97 turbines on this particular site, Spinning Spur 3. We're uh, approximately pre-commissioning at Turbine 91, our last road up here on the northeast side of the project. So that being said, we can uh, take you guys out there and have a look. We have uh, power purchase agreements with two municipal utilities. One is the city of Georgetown and the other one is the city of Garland. The city of Georgetown has a 74% share and they will be uh, one of the first cities that will be served with the electricity from this plant. We're out on County Road 18. It's the western side of our project here at Spur 3. And the, the phase of construction is complete and we are just working on final pre-commissioning to get into the commissioning process. And at that point, we will energize the entire park next week. They're going through their mechanical completion checklists where we have uh, teams of people on site that are making sure that every single piece of the equipment is ready to be energized. And then starting next week, we will energize the turbines and that will be when we initially start putting energy on the grid. So this is our uh, Spinning Spur 3 substation, gentlemen. On the back side, we've got a couple collection system breakers where the power comes from the turbines through collection cables into our substation. The total acreage for this project is 18,000 acres. We have 97 turbines, and each one of those turbines is 2 megawatts. The plant will power 600 uh, households per turbine per year, or just under 60,000 households per year. The wind blows here. There's a lot of good wind. We look for sites that have uh, uh, high winds, but uh, uh, we also want uh, less turbulent winds. This was just one of many sites that was chosen in the Panhandle because it is so windy. There also were the Cres lines that were built, which is interconnection, which is another major piece as to why we would choose to build at a site. We got the wind resource here, all the people downstate, so we built a transmission line from here that runs uh, 39 miles to the point of interconnect on the Cres line. Then once it gets to the Cres line, it'll travel down that line into the ERCOT grid and then through energy trades uh, makes its way down to uh, Georgetown. Well, the response to Georgetown adding wind project into our system has been phenomenal. We've got both national and international coverage. People wanted to know how we made the decision and what the benefits are, and the reaction has been overwhelming. You know, there's other people that have tried to be 100% green, and they didn't garner quite the attention we did. What made Georgetown so shocking is it was done in the heart of Texas. Right? And in Texas, we're known for oil, and we're known for gas, and we're known for cheap commodities, and we can produce them. And in you know, 2015, when the gas market is crashing and fracking is at its height, everybody was shocked, and we said, you know what, that's the year we're going to go renewable. Initially, our objective, and our objective has been all along, to be able to afford our customers the most least risk cost-effective option for energy in Georgetown uh, that we could achieve.